Mayor Adams takes shot at Biden claims NYC is being destroyed by ongoing migrant crisis far left New York City Mayor Eric Adams took a rare pot shot at Joe Biden, a fellow Democrat, on Saturday that is likely to reverberate throughout the White House. Adams has been forced to deal with his own sanctuary city policies, turning a blind eye to illegal immigrants, for months now as the self-inflicted migrant crisis along the U.S.-Mexico. Border continues. At an event hosted by the African American Mayors Association, Adams decried Biden's policies which led to an immediate reversal of former President Donald Trump's strict border enforcement regime. You know, we, the city is being destroyed by the migrant crisis and none of my folks came to Washington DC to fight for the resources that's going to undermine every agency in our city. Days earlier, according to the New York Post, Adams was railing at Biden over the migrant crisis, which began within weeks of the president taking office. The national government has turned its back on New York City, Adams exclaimed. Every service in this city is going to be impacted by the asylum seeker crisis. He also accused Biden of creating one of the largest humanitarian crises that this city has ever experienced. New York City has spent $817 million to address the migrant crisis between July 2022 and March, according to the Office of Budget and Management. Estimates show the city will spend $4.2 billion on costs related to the migrant crisis from June 2023 through the end of fiscal year 2024, Breitbart News noted further. Last month, far-left Democrats reacted negatively to an announcement from the White House that Biden was considering reviving a Trump-era family detention policy. I think the devil is in the details and we will see what happens. But has he made decisions that progressives disagree with? Absolutely. We will see what comes up in the next year, independent Vermont's and Bernie Sanders, who caucuses with Democrats, said in response. Reps Pramila J. Paul of Washington and Judy Chu of California also condemned the idea. We are deeply concerned by reports that the Biden administration is considering reinstating family detention in an attempt to deter migration. We agree with Secretary Mayorkas when he said, a detention center is not where a family belongs. We should not return to the failed policies of the past. There is no safe or humane way to detain families and children, and such detention does not serve as a deterrent to migration. We strongly urge the administration to reject this wrong-headed approach, they said. Meanwhile, Republican lawmakers in the House have been moving toward impeaching Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas for his refusal to effectively deal with not only the migrant crisis, but also the dramatic increase in the cross-border smuggling of deadly fentanyl and other drugs. You are failing miserably. For the 5 million people, 1.4 million unknown gotaways, we have no idea who those people are, what kind of security they risk, Sinran Johnson told Mayorkas during a hearing last week. Do you not care? Do you not have just an ounce of human compassion for what your open border policy, the type of human depredations it is causing? Mr. Secretary, you ought to resign, he added. The senator mischaracterizes our policies with respect to the security of the southern border, Mayorkas responded. 